Hey guys, what is up? Mushroom Gecko here, and welcome back to MG News, where all your news comes from me and Fox News. So, topic today is selfies banned in certain regions of the world. I know you, you know me. We have all taken selfies. It is the way of the future. It is 2015. Don't tell me you have not done it yet. All right. Because if you do, I'm not going to believe you. So, selfies b banned in certain regions of the world. All right, let's talk about that. In Iran, uh, it bans selfies with fans. So, like, at, at sports, at, at sports places, um, like, if you spot your favorite celebrity, uh, you, you really can't take, take a picture with them. Because apparently in Iran, just, you can't be, because it, it apparently it, it forbids players, coaches, and other team staff from posting with female fans. The conservative country is wary of its players posing with women who do not adhere to strict codes of Islamic dress or those who may use the pictures for political gain or even sue players for harassment. So that's the reason why Iran banned selfies because... Um, we're not just ban self, not ban selfies, ban female players with players from other teams in Iran, because they put because they think that the fans could use those pictures as like a popularity tool, or to like accuse the uh, person for um, for harassment. Our next thing we have here is South Korea bans the selfie stick. Um, so South Korea. Authorities ban the use of of certain selfie sticks. So not all the selfie sticks, just s certain ones. So citing the fact that the Bluetooth signal from unlicensed sticks cause other devices like cell phones to malfunction. I guess that's that's a uh, that's fine. I guess pointing it up in the air, just like using your Bluetooth, be like, hey, connect with my phone. So yeah, I, I, I guess that can cause a threat with like malfunctions and stuff. Uh, those who sell or import unauthorized brands may face a fine up to thirty thousand dollars of, of American dollars, or spend up to three years in jail for using unauthorized brands of selfie sticks. So if you go to North Korea or South Korea, not North Korea, North Korea, I'm pretty sure bans selfie sticks all together. What if you go to South Korea? Just use. Uh, I'm doing an air quote air quote right here. Authorized selfie sticks or else you'll be fined thirty thousand dollars or three years in prison next thing we have here is that london bans the selfish sticks so um nothing ruins a good time at a, at a concert unique like someone seated in front of you uh brandishing a large sign throughout the entire artist and uh on sh entire set select Venues like the O2 Arena and Brixton Academy in Great Britain have started to ban people from using selfie sticks during events to prevent people from blocking the stage. So, I mean, like, you could be standing up and be like, hey, selfie, hey, hey, everyone, stand up, just, just selfie, just, like, in front of the stage with me, yeah, because I'm so selfish, and I just want to be famous on Instagram and just, like, yeah, make all my friends jealous. So, uh, right here, Saudi Arabia, no selfie sticks in Mecca. Or no selfies in Mecca, I'm sorry. Yeah, no selfies in Mecca. Young Muslims making their ha 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 I don't know how to say this. I'm reading right off the, the Fox News page. Ha Hajj, H-A-J-J. Uh, pilgrimages to Mecca have been sharing their journey with followers all over the world. While some may see this as a uh, proclamation of faith, Islamic uh, sleries... Sl Sleer, Sleery, Seas, I don't know how to say that, uh, C-L-E-R-I-C-S, sorry if I don't know how to say that, have issued a warning against taking selfies. Some religious leaders say focusing on snapping the perfect shot is a distraction, uh, is, is a distraction the player, prayers, is a distraction the player, does that make sense? I'm reading this right off the Fox page, and it seriously says, a distraction the prayers, it should be a distraction to the prayers, rituals, and other self-reflection necessary to fully engage in the experience, so I can uh, see why, because they, they, they're really religious in Mecca, they say just like, selfies distract you, they're 
really pointless and you shouldn't do them. So, next up we have here is that Spain. <laughs> okay. Okay, this one really made me laugh. I don't even need to read off of here because from the picture, you can already tell why selfies are banned in Spain. I'm running on the bull. Hey, people, I'm running. Let me take a selfie real quick. Oh, no, I'm falling over. <laughs> uh, selfie and your phone broken and probably some of your bones. So I'm going to read it off the Fox page and tell you what it said. Some people would actually uh, risk being gored to death if it means they can get the perfect selfie. <laughs> yeah, so they're, like, risking their limbs just for a picture. That's why officials in... Pam Pamplona had banned tourists from taking selfies during the annual Running of the Bulls Festival for runners who have uh, traversed through the narrow city streets as angry bulls charged right behind them. Last year, an attendee was fined $4,100 for taking a picture while running from the animals. First of all, that's stupid. Second of all, it's your life. Third of all, you can't send someone to jail or fine them for taking selfies if they want to risk their own lives by getting trampled by bulls. I'm mean, like, Spain, are you serious? You have the running of the bulls for bulls to actually charge at people or to run away and protect your life. So, yeah, I'm like, just, you're expecting people to get trampled, but like, if they want to take selfies and get themselves trampled, then be my guess, honestly. In France, uh, there's a no braggy zone. Uh, so, last summer, the tourists in, um, the tourist-laden beach in southern France created no braggy zone to cut down on beachgoers spamming their friends' feeds with seaside snaps. The beach was reportedly even, uh, patrolled by holiday spam police, uh, last August. No word on whether the beach will continue the tradition this summer, but there are plenty of other beaches in the world where tourists can take hot dog leg pics, okay, and show off their sandy beach toes. I don't have the, uh, the New York picture, but it says New York animal selfies are illegal. And I'll read what, uh, New York has to say about this. Right here at home, selfies were, uh, with certain animals will actually be banned by law. In February, New York will become the first state to outlaw posting from uh, for a photo with a lion, tiger, or other big cast, or bears, oh my. The measure was passed to protect the wild animals. So if you're taking a picture with an animal, how are you harming them unless you don't have, unless you have flash on, honestly. And the humans who love them, uh, the, the measure was passed to protect wild animals, and the humans uh, who love them. People start started posting more and more pictures in close proximity, Proximity to the creature. Maybe the ban should be extended to the primates as well. A sneaky monkey recently grabbed a fistful of Tora's hair as she tried to take a fun picture while on vacation. So, hey guys, I'm with the monkey out of my hair! Yeah, pretty much. Alright, that's all I have to uh, say today, guys, about the selfies being banned in certain regions of the world. It just really, really amazes me how some people... And some parts of the world take selfies so much that it is literally an outlaw. It is literally made outlawed by that country. Alright, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to uh, Mushroom Gecko. Don't forget to like the and, and comment on the video. And subscribe to my channel down below. And, uh, yeah, live one of the and the mushroom. Have a kind of like and keep those gems shining ones. Gecko out. Boop! Thank you guys for watching, and I will be coming back with you guys for some news 